Hello, Kutti Cubs. How are you? Hope all of you are fine and safe at home. Have you seen signboards like this? Yes. Today, we are going to learn about basic road signs and signals. Roads are normally used for transportation inside the country. And road signs are erected at the sides or above the roads to give instructions and provide information to the road users. They represent rules which helps to get instructions to drivers and pedestrians for smooth traffic and avoid accidents. Watch this video to learn about road signs and get visual impact. Traffic signals and signs. Whenever you are on the road walking or riding a bicycle, you need to obey traffic signals and signs. Knowing what these signals and signs will help you to keep yourself safe. You would have seen this metal post with red, yellow and green light on the roadside. What do you think it is? It is a traffic light for vehicles. The red, yellow and green light flash one at a time and are called signals. The red signal means that vehicles must stop. Yellow signal means that vehicles must need to get ready to move. And green signal means vehicles can move now. Always observe these signals carefully. They help to monitor the movement of vehicles on the road. Let's now check out some common traffic signs. This is the pedestrian crossing sign. You can usually find it on the road intersections. It indicates when you can walk across the roads most safely. This is the school ahead sign. It tells you that you are near a school and you need to slow down the vehicle if you are moving fast. This is the crossroad sign. It indicates that you are coming to a point where one road is crossing another. This is the T intersection sign. It tells you that you are approaching a T intersection. A T intersection is a place where one road joins another and forms the shape of the letter T. This is the roundabout sign. It tells you that you are coming to roundabout. A roundabout is a circular structure on a road where several roads meet and around which traffic moves in one direction. This is the hump or rough road sign. It tells you that the road ahead is rough and bumpy. This is the railway crossing sign. It indicates that there is a railway crossing ahead. This is horns prohibited sign. It means that you cannot horn your vehicle's horn in this area. This is no stopping or standing sign. It tells you that you cannot stop your vehicles at this place. This sign is for speed limit. It indicates that as per law, you cannot drive your vehicles beyond the indicated speed. The sign board here showing the speed limit of 50 km per hour. This is the narrow road ahead sign. It tells you that the roadway ahead is narrow. This is straight prohibited or no entry sign. It means the vehicles are not allowed to enter the area.
This is the U-turn prohibited sign. It tells you that your vehicle cannot take U-turn here. A U-turn is a U-shaped turn made by a vehicle so as to head in the opposite direction. This is the stop sign. When you see this sign, you are needed to bring your vehicle to complete stop. You can proceed when the way ahead is clear. In this module, you have learned the following. While on the road, you need to follow traffic signals and signs. A traffic light for vehicles has red, yellow and green signals. A red signal means that vehicles must stop. A yellow signal means that vehicles need to get ready to move. And a green signal means that vehicles can move or go now. Thank you children. Children, you have learned traffic signs and signals. Now, do the activities given here and have fun. Draw and color traffic sign board and zebra crossing. Make cutouts of any four road signs. Make a chart about the basic road signals. Thank you children.